before we begin, Booker! 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 Devin Booker! <coughs> Excuse me. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Leek. A.K.A. Malik, back here with another video, you feel me? Um, yeah, I haven't been, I haven't been here for a while. Ever since that last I Give Up video, yeah, I, 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 I wasn't playing. Um, they, this team would have to show me something for a reason to get, get excited again, or I was literally gonna wait until playoffs to watch us again. Um, what does this mean? This win alone? I mean, we're surviving. So, I guess there's that. So, I guess we we really, we really won't know probably until, like, literally the last uh, game of the season. Um, But, yeah, let's get this started. My man Book, you know, with this 52-piece. Um, he always f***s up the Pelicans. Like, Always, I'm not even surprised. Oh, and um, at home because home is not y'all were supposed good to. to well, I, I don't know. Let me not say supposed to. If you guys see this video first, that means because I reacted to the Iowa game and the uh, UConn game, like the women's games. And I'm a, I, I wonder if he got blocked or not. So if he got blocked, I'm gonna try it again, like one more time, um, on a different video. But yeah, but yeah, y'all should see those videos first. But anyway, let's get started, my guy, my guy, Book. No one was talking about you because everybody was watching college, which I don't blame, it's March Madness. Especially the women, no, those two matchups, this shit was crazy. Good pass. I just don't know, man. I just, I really just don't have confidence in the playoffs, dog. This, like, like, I came back, I, I, I'm doing this video strictly because... I was happy. I was in a good mood. Book went off for crazy. Book's my guy. Uh, uh, like he's that. That's my boy. Um. So I, I, I was gonna, you know, be here. Feel me? Um. But this is why I don't believe in the Pelicans in the playoffs. At least against us. Like I don't think they can't match up against us. They don't have. They don't have anybody that can lock up guards. And Ingram out, Jose Alvarado out from the second unit. Deep into the shot clock. It'll be oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good bad. shit, Book. Oh, man. He, he got it off like that. Yeah, that's how you know he's feeling good. But, yeah. Um, oh, man. He's turning up. He's turning up. But, yeah. Um, I'm not saying they can't guard any. They don't have anybody to guard any guards. Like, I think Brandon Ingram is a good person to guard guards. But, like, they only have one Brandon Ingram. If you got, like, someone elite, like Devin Booker, yeah, we're cooking you, Like, Trey Murphy, like, with all due respect, you're not it. I don't even think you yeah, you ain't even guarding, bro. Yeah, bro, this is, this is, this is cookies and milk. This is cookies and milk. See, I want to get more excited like I was in those two college games that I hope you guys see. Hopefully, it don't get blocked. Um, it, it's just, it's just, I know my state of the team, of our team right now. And like, oh my God. A little flip. The rim before the Phoenix Suns defense could get set. It's only a second. Well, yeah, I know the state of my team, man. Oh, yeah, that's a fucking. I, I know the state of my team, man. Like 90 seconds less. 
as it rolls. This, this wing doesn't really move the needle. Let's be honest, it doesn't move no needles. If we win out, okay, now we talk it. But this win, nah. Oh yeah, KD, KD, KD. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see. Our upcoming opponents, I know. I know we play the Silver Wolves. Then we play them again. Um, and I think next week, like our last couple games, we play the Clippers and shit. So like, oh, uh, it's really, it's literally all playoff teams, and we got the Cavs again in Cleveland. So the overplay. Right? I'm pretty sure it's a one. They have the spaces. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice easy buckle. Nice easy buckle. Smart game plan. Gonna be Oh my gosh. And again, I think I saw that. I think I tweeted that play. I think no, I didn't tweet that play. But that shit was crazy. Mid range. Kevin Booker again. He's up to 30 points now on 14 shots at high screen. And he's actually a heck of a passer too. Yeah. Like, like when when my nigga get like this, it's, 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 it's like no one can guard him. We saw this shit in in the playoffs, but but like just the state of the team right now, dog. This is the this is the shit, dog. I love using that move, the little cross, the little tween misdirection, I love using that, but he did not, he faded because he went off the, uh, he came off of this end, but that is crazy. 26 point game with two to play in New Orleans for a long time. You gotta get up because they're going for a quick two for one. And Booker's gonna get it. Hey bro, someone fix that mic on that shit bro, why are we actually hearing, like, the mic? the window. And, you know, I like what Jay Borrego told Jen Hell at halftime. Nurkage. Like, in a perfect world, up against we would be five and they would be four. And he's got some space, doesn't he? Yep. He's all the way up to 40. Haven't seen that much with Bradley Pete. That commercial threw me off. I don't even know what I was about to say to anyone. Let me give me, give me a second to think about it real quick. his way yeah in a perfect world um we, we would wow that voice back is crazy in a perfect world we would be number five and then they, they would still be or and they would be number four we would be number five because they were doing so well during the season like because if we got this matchup i wouldn't i wouldn't be worried about a damn thing they can't guard our team we can't guard Zion, and then Brandon Ingram gets off. Ingram gets off. But like the zone, the Pelicans. Are we supposed to be worried about this team? No. He's got Nurkic rolling. Man, he's going to the line looking for the three-point play. A late close. Y'all commentator is ass. I know y'all getting y'all ass busted, but damn. And Booker. Like, Nick, show some life in there. Shit, at least Mike Breen. Is it Breen? Green? I know it's not Green. I think it's Breen. The commentator. He's always like. Hooker with the three or some shit. Like, he, he hypes it up. Here comes Nurkic. Z beat him to the punch. Down to 18. Inside Got the bucket and the bat. Like, he hikes it up all the time. No matter the team. It'll be Bradley Beal. It'll be Bradley Beal. We show Monitor that. I don't even want to watch this anymore because of you. You, you, you see how much you just ruined my experience? Holy shit, I feel. You ain't even hyped for your own team. And good help. Who would want to be a Pelican fan if the commentators sound like this? I want to turn this shit off. I don't think Book's coming back in, is he? He might. He might. I know he got another three. He got like seven threes for the first time. You gotta run somebody at him. You gotta run somebody at him. But he gets the little mid range. Yeah, he's too long. Right. You gotta run somebody at Kevin. Pause, dog. Uh, you can't just say that without saying pause or no diddy. You gotta say something. Now, 
Damn, that was a good ass move. Oh my god, what the Jonas with the finish. And that is a good pass. That was a crazy pass. No one no doubt. That was a good pass, but that was crazy. And Vogel, what is you doing, bro? I just noticed something. Now can you get it down to 13? What the is my name? And y'all know who I'm talking about. Oh, Because I bet he played like five minutes. And you gave this. Dyson Daniels has played great tonight. Dyson has played great I think I, someone kicked out their foot there. Someone tried to shoot that nigga. I ain't going back because I really don't feel like it because I reacted to so much shit today. But, um. Exactly. Like, I bet you played Eubanks like double digits. You gave this bull five. That was tough. Tough, 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 tough. Oh, they came back. Okay, okay, they were fighting back. No surprise, we're the Phoenix Suns. We choke fourth quarters. We we like choke fourth. We like choking fourth quarter leads. Oh, up to fifty. Oh. Up to 52 right here. Up to 52 right here. You can't guard me. Game over. So we have 58, 52, 52. Yeah, hit him and take the ball out. Alright, now 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 y'all double it. Oh my god, that's so dangerous. If you have a guy that that good. Dad's here. Melvin and his Man, I hope he's that good. That's not over and back. That's not over and back. He sound like a hate. This is the hating ass. No wonder why he's so monotone. Get me out of here. I don't want to see nothing or hear no mo nothing more of you. You are so monotone and so boring, man. You almost put me to sleep. I'm sorry y'all had to whip. Uh, I'm sorry that English. I'm sorry that y'all had to experience and hear that type of utterly foolishness and garbage um but yeah that's gonna do it leave a like if you enjoy it comment anything you got anything to say you know yeah 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 subscribe if you rock with the league um again i'm gonna post this video even though that commentator kind of pissed me off i'm not gonna lie he really like pissed me off he made my mood like like if mike breen was commentating that game because Everybody knows because everybody has had that experience where Mike Breen, no matter if you're home, no matter if you're away, but your team is losing and you hear that one Mike Breen call. Luca from way downtown. It's good. Or bad. Like, like, you know what are the sounds. And he did, he's unbiased when it comes to the hype moments because he understands basketball. And he's not no slouch, old-ass, 60-ass, year-old that don't care. You know what? I'm gonna go hoop. And I already did my outro, so... Take care.